Hi, welcome to Bushcraft Heroes. Today we're going to be building a, uh, a raised bed platform in the trees. Um, like a tree house? Kind of like a tree house in these pines here. You'll see it as it develops. We're on a friend's land. It's about an hour away from Edmonton. It took us about uh, half an hour to drive in on the track and then we've been walking for about 20 minutes in, on the land to find this place. So we're, yeah, we're just going to get on with it. I think Matt might set up a time lapse or something like that while we do some work and then we'll just sort of, as we get to sort of intricate or particular moments in the build, we'll share it, we'll share it with you. Cool. So you can see we're just clearing the uh, lower branches off of these trees so we can shimmy up them to put our supports across. Notching out the horizontals so that they snug up to the tree real nice. Uh, Mr. Moore here is cutting a, a wedge into the top of this. This is going to be a beam, a support beam for our Horizontal. uh, horizontals. Yeah. Yeah. So act as a wedge. Now let's just do it properly. Two more trees? Yeah. Um, so do, should should I pass you up some rope and you lash that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. So we're just building a, another little support. Dug a little hole in the ground there. And it's just going to support this main beam because it's fucking huge. Look at that. Okay, the boys are up in the uh, in the trees, notching out our cross beams. They made a nice little ladder here. Pretty good, I think. Okay, I'm trying to keep it as flat as I can here so it doesn't roll out. All of these beams. Flatten off where we're going to put it a little bit too. Yeah. If you want. Uh, yeah, you're you not. could. Like that. Yeah. Just even if slight, slightly flat. Yeah. Yeah, it'll all halt. Don't want to cut the ropes. <laughs> yeah. Dangerous. So they're just um, flattening out the beams so that they will fit into where they've notched out. Carpenter's axe is the way to go for these. I love this thing. Well, it was worth buying then. <laughs> yeah, I would buy one. They're, they're cheap, like the Husqvarna's are amazing. Like this for... <laughs> oh, I'm just, yeah, sure. I'll practice there, but I have some cool that fluff lying around then. It's so satisfying when you hear a flyer buzzing and then you go to spot it. And <laughs> That's pretty effective, I'd say. Just hook the spout with yeah. the coffee cup yeah. and set it down. Oh, it's stopped the flies though. Like a little um, dairy farm somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he's, probably, he's, he's probably he's he's probably got cows? some. Yeah, he's probably got some. Look at that.
good. Should be alright. You don't need to take it down the front, do you? Probably should. If it reaches, you might as well just take it. Reaches, it yeah. Look at that. Just enough. Will it tie off? Yeah. If you hold it, keep it taut. Yeah. So it's been a hot day. We've been sweating and working hard. We didn't do a time lapse in the end because we too busy too doing busy, shit. Too busy doing stuff. We didn't set the camera up. But um, it's looking good. It's feeling sturdy. We're filling in the gaps and we're going to put down. We're only using poplar as our um, building material because that's what we've been allowed to cut down. Yeah. We're pretty high up as well on this side. You can see it's quite. Quite high up, we just put this uh, rope up all the way around just while we're working up here. Cause safety first. Safety first, yeah. It's actually twice as big as um, as I envisioned it, but I'm really happy that we did it twice as big because now we can have a whole area over there that's not for sleeping just to be a chilling. Veranda. veranda, yeah, we got our own veranda. So yeah, what, what we're doing is we're just filling in uh, all of the gaps, well not filling in the gaps, but just covering the, the bottom with these uh, top bits of the fresh saplings there. Um, oh, not saplings, but whatever. Uh, just to just to give it a, a flatter overall feel. Um, and then we're gonna top it with spruce boughs for comfort. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's coming along nice. Really over the moon with, with how it turned out. All right, I'll give you guys a tour so far. <laughs> what we look like going around just to give some reference for do you want to stand underneath it so they can see how high it is it's pretty high off the ground to be fair baggage is about five I'm nine about six foot two yeah put your hand in here no I'm, yeah. I'm five you can't nine. even anywhere near so it's got to be a good seven foot there yeah. and then probably 12 foot at the back it's massive back here it's ridiculous yeah it's like twice your height yeah twice your height yeah yeah why did we not cut that one oh, back as well up the ladder we <laughs> like 10 steps <laughs> pretty straightforward right? from where we are Excuse the heavy breathing. Yes. Greatest thing that I learned from Eric on the last trip was at the end of a day, boots off, put on some slippers. Oh, nice. And I made these myself. Yeah, oh, nice. Washed, so. yeah, yeah, not bad. Considering you're not a slipper maker by trade, I know you're a bushcrafter. I'm just gonna hand you up some stuff. Can you just put it with all the gear? Oh yeah. And good. Well, wow, it's another lovely hot day here. We're uh, we're done. We're gonna head out, but we'll be back. We're gonna keep doing work, hopefully on this, and uh, keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe is what I meant to say. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.